Welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about chuck wagons. Chuck wagons are mobile recycle depots and on each site they have the capacity to take garbage. In two of the sites they have the capacity to take organics. Uh, our five chuck wagon sites are Bearspaw, Elbow Valley, Kioma, Madden, and Spring Hill. Bearspaw is open on Wednesdays from 1 to 7. Um, Elbow Valley and Madden are open on Saturdays from 9 to 3, and Spring Hill and Kioma are open on Sundays from 9 to 3 also. So in this safety manual, in our giant safety manual, there is a safe work procedure for chuck wagons. It is under section 4, and the subcategory is 4.17. If you don't know how to do that, each chuck wagon has its own safety manual. Please go through and read the chuck wagon procedures. There's also um, a few other things that we'll go over in this video that are not on here, um, and that's due to COVID practices. So first thing what we're going to do is when we get to the chuck wagon is open it all up, okay, and then we're going to fill out our FLHA or site-specific hazard assessment. You're going to fill it out um, with your name, the date, the location, the supervisor is Michelle Petrash, the company is AWR, and there are no prime contractors. You fill out um, the weather for the day, the starting temperature, and then your duties, uh, where it says work description here, it's going to be chuck wagon duties, okay? And if you're working alone, you need to list your working alone buddy, okay? And then you go over to the back, and you list your potential potential or actual hazards. You list, um, or sorry, you list the duties that you have, and then the potential or actual ha um, hazards. And then you list if they're engineering, if you need engineering controls, administration controls, or PPE. Now remember, engineering controls are something that physically stops us from getting to the danger or hazard. Administration um, controls are things like signs and pieces of paper or safe job procedures, safe work practices, and then other uh, the PPE or things we wear to stop us from getting the, the hazard inside of us or on us. Okay, so fill out that next. So uh, next you're going to need is a work alone sheet, working alone sheet. You need to check in with your work alone buddy from 9 a.m. to 3. So the first text should say something along the lines of, good morning, I'm all safe here. All right, and then you can go back and forth for, throughout the day, checking in every hour on the hour, or every half hour on the half hour, whichever you and your working alone buddy have decided. If you don't have a working alone buddy, you can always text me. My number is the safety representative number in the chuck wagon. Okay. Um, for garbage that is collected at the site, um, you need a tag a bag ticket. Tag a bag tickets can be sold at the chuck wagons or at other um, at other RVC sites. Okay, with the exception of Springbank. Springbank does not sell tickets. When you get a ticket, you need to use your chuck wagon daily total. On the back, you can put users and tickets. You click off how many users. You can use just use a check mark system. Okay, and then tickets, users, how many users you have in the day, and tickets, how many tickets you collected in a day. All right, at the end of the day, these tickets, they get ripped in half and put into the mixed paper. Okay, we do no longer collect them on site. Okay, we no longer send them into the, uh, into the office. We rip them in half, and then we put them in the mixed paper in the chuck wagon at the end of this at the end of the day uh, before you lock up the truck wagon. Okay, so that is the, the new thing with, because of COVID that we no longer do. We no, we no longer collect the tickets and hand them into the office. We rip them in half and put them in mixed paper. If somebody doesn't have tickets and they do not want to purchase, they can put, um, or if they don't have a tag bag ticket, you can put a check or their tag and bag tickets in this envelope. There's usually a, a, a piece that goes on top here. Okay, you get them 
to put their, they take this part of the envelope, okay, and the tag that's usually on here, they fill out their name um, and their information and how much money they'll be sending in or how much, um, how many tag bank tickets they'll be sending in. And then you take the tag, they get the envelope, they need to send the stuff into the address on the label, okay? That's how those work. So we get the tags, the, the, the taggy part on the top here, okay? And the envelope goes to the customer. At the end of the day, you're gonna fill out um, one of these Chuck Wagon daily totals. Remember I said, you put your tallies on the back for the users and the tickets, okay? So you're gonna fill out the date, the Chuck Wagon site, uh, who you are as the attendant, so the number of users, you're going to count up your tally at the back, put the number of users, and count up your tally for tickets on the back, and put the number of tickets. Now in this part here, the first part here, this is for material inside the chuck wagon that's being um, recycled. So how many bins of cardboard is there? How many mixed paper? How many newspaper? Plastic, rigid plastic, plastic bags, glass, and metal. Right, and in the bottom section here, this is for garbage, all right, um, garbage and organics. So some some garbage, some chuck wagon sites have five garbage bins and an organics bin. Okay, so you fill out um, how many how much percentage um, the bin is full. So if it's five percent, ten percent, twenty percent, ninety percent. Okay, and any comments on the bottom, such as things that need to get fixed, um, or any problems you encounter, or if something is missing from the chuck wagon, you put it on this part here. These come to the office, and um, myself and Michelle both look at them to ensure that the chuck wagons are running as smoothly as possible. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, you can talk to Michelle about any operational issues, any safety issues you talk to me about. And again, um, all our numbers are in the chuck wagon on the ERP. Okay, if you don't have that information, we are putting it in the uh, in the chuck wagons within the next, uh, by the end of April. So if this is after April and you don't have that information, let us know. Thank you and have a great day.